don't know what this is. What is this? It's a selfie. Okay. Is this like, this is kind of gross. What? This is so nasty. Ew. Um, it's gluten and it's found in various sorts of bread. Yeah, I know a lot of people have allergies to it. Uh, yeah, that's about all I know about gluten. Gluten refers to proteins found in some grains. However, not all grains contain gluten. Some examples of grains containing gluten are wheat, barley, rye, and oats. It's made up of two different proteins, gliadin and glutenin. Um, some would say yes, some not. I guess it's kind of opinionated, but personally, uh, I think it's fine, but everything in moderation. This snatched body that I have is not on a gluten-free diet. I don't know if they're necessarily healthy, because I know that they, like, they alternate what they replace the gluten with in food, but I know that it's become like a fad to have gluten-free food, and I think people have associated it with healthier food. Yeah, people do whatever celebrities do. I mean, I do something and there are like 10 people that want to do the same thing. And I'm like, guys, I had two donuts yesterday. You can't be eating exactly what I'm eating every single day because this body is just naturally occurring. I mean, it's genetics. Honestly, I do not believe half the celebrities say. Seriously, like so half the time they just say what they have to say so they can make money. That's it. I answer honestly and say that no, absolutely not, especially if you use the Kardashians as reference. Like, they don't give you the behind the scenes, they don't tell you what they're actually doing, they just like advertise whatever they're paid to advertise. So, no, I think they're totally non credible sources. Gluten is an important part of our diet because it contains a variety of vitamins, minerals, and fibers that are vital to a healthy diet. In fact, it has been shown that people who eat three servings of whole grains a day are 30% less likely to develop type 2 diabetes. Whole grains are also very important for certain substances found in plants which can be considered nature's disease fighters. Food containing gluten can also provide us with health benefits from cancer and heart disease. Okay, here we go. Chloe and I really push each other to do that. Oh I think Courtney Kardashian talking, looking deplorable as usual. How much water you drink? Oh I God. love to drink coconut water, like different things. I think it's like just you don't need fancy water to be healthy. <laughs> she thinks gluten-free helps with weight loss. She doesn't know that if it helps with weight loss. Free, which is so hard for me <laughs> and my kids. Dairy's and and her kids. Okay, gluten-free for kids. Gluten free for kids. Despite the health benefits associated with gluten consumption, one report estimated that the gluten free market in Canada came up to 460 million in 2012. The size of the global gluten free market is also expected to continue growing rapidly over the next few years. This is due, in part, to all the media attention and celebrity endorsements that gluten free diets have been receiving, which propagate myths about gluten free diets and weight loss. Gluten-free diets may cause some people to experience weight loss. However, this is not due to the absence of gluten in the diet. Rather, this is because there is a limited food choice available when restricting gluten. This may lead to weight loss because individuals are forced to cut out entire food groups like bread, cereals, and processed foods. Additionally, as a result of this, people often turn to healthier alternatives such as fruits and vegetables. So people lose weight because they decrease their overall calorie consumption. Because gluten can have a positive impact on our health, eliminating gluten entirely can have several health consequences. Firstly, the grains that we eliminate on a gluten-free diet are rich sources of nutrients and fibers. Consequently, these diets can lead to fiber deficiencies and constipation as well as a deficiency in nutrients such as iron, calcium and vitamin B12. Lastly, gluten-free diets may lead to weight gain. Simply because something is gluten-free does not mean that it is lower in calories or fat. In fact, many gluten-free foods actually have added sugars and fats to make them more appetizing. Okay. 
Ew. It's actually not that bad. Gluten for pasta is usually stale. I mean, this tastes a lot like a regular pretzel. It's like a little chewier, maybe. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I feel like if somebody didn't tell me that it was a gluten-free pretzel, I probably would have just eaten it as a pretzel. That's it. For those who have chosen to go on gluten-free diets, one of the most important tips when eliminating gluten from your diet is replacing it with healthier alternatives. For example, healthy replacements for wheat include quinoa and buckwheat. Increased intakes of fruits and vegetables, lean meat, and low-fat dairy products are also healthy tips when avoiding gluten. Although many people have been blinded with the illusion that gluten-free diets can help you lose weight, it has not been proven to have a beneficial impact towards losing weight. In turn, gluten-free diets are really only necessary for those who have celiac disease or a gluten allergy. To conclude, there are many myths surrounding the gluten-free diets and weight loss which are reiterated by a lack of information and inaccurate media portrayals. Although some people do benefit from gluten-free diets, those individuals often take up these diets so for medical reasons such as gluten intolerance. In terms of weight loss, gluten-free diets can be helpful but this is due to changes in dietary choices as opposed to eliminating gluten. In conclusion, it's always important to refer back to your family physician when making changes to your diet.